Hey, how you doing boys and girls? This is USMC Doc 1-4 from JKOwners.com, Pirate4x4.com, giving you another installment of changing your own fluid in your driveway. Um, first things first is, uh, you know, follow all your safety rules. If you, got, if you have to use jack stands and stuff, you know, put it on jack stands, don't leave it on a jack. Also, I utilize colorful vocabulary, so if you're easily butt hurt, well, that's too fucking bad. Right now, what we're doing is, I'm going to show you how to change the fluid in your transfer case. Now, your transfer case is this shiny metal thing that has the drive shafts, which are these not-so-shiny metal things, that go to the front and the rear differential. Okay, it needs to be changed every so often. The reason why is it is a sealed unit. There is no filter. So, you, know, you kind of want to go and take care of that shit. Um, the other reason why I'm showing you is because dealerships want way too damn much for something that is retardedly simple. Um, doing your diff fluid, doing your oil change, changing the, uh, changing the fluid in your transfer case, yeah, you should not be paying a dealership. The only thing you're going to need for this is a basic set of hand tools, okay? Like, you know, the ratchet set, stuff like that. Go to craft, go to Sears, get a craftsman set, or... Actually, I really like the uh, the complete sets from Home Depot because they come in a nice hard case. Um, and they fit well in your Jeep. Anyway, sorry for the grunting and moaning. I'm laying underneath my wife's 2008 JK. Um, it's on 35, so I can actually fit up under here without using jack stands or anything like that. Now, there's two different ways to do this. The first is you could remove your transfer case skid plate, which is this, okay? Or you can leave it in place because there's a drain hole. See the drain hole? Uh, drain hole. Okay, you just gotta remember to hose this shit out afterwards. Your call which one you wanna do. I'm leaving the transfer case skid in place because I'm a lazy bastard. But if you wanna take it off, okay. Uh, there we go, 18 millimeter socket. There's four bolts. There's two up here, one there. And one over there, next to where my shoulder is. And that'll drop the skid plate. Don't drop it on your face. Okay, now, draining your transfer case is, once again, retardedly fucking simple. You are going to need a 3 8 uh, Allen head socket, Allen wrench, whatever you want to choose to use, okay? It's probably in metric, because most of this fucking Jeep is in metric, but 3 8 fits uh, the, the plugs perfectly. Now, there's two of them first one, the obvious one that you see up there, is actually the fill, okay? And the one that's down there, that you can see, let me jiggle it, okay? See where it's plugged in? There is the drain, okay? I gotta put this bitch back in there. <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay, so that's back in the drain. Now, all you do is you loosen it, take it out, and then drain the transfer case. So, let me go and put the camera here. Let's see if I can see if I got the skills to do this shit. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, one-handed. Look at that shit. Okay. And of course, it's not gonna come out my hand. Now, you're going to want to kind of, you can do this hot, you can do this cold, it's entirely your call. There we go. And it's draining, and it's draining out of the drain hole. Okay, now the reason why it's red is your transfer case, um, and your Jeep J case, uses automatic transmission fluid. Okay, uses ATF plus four. So when you replace it, use ATF plus four. Use a quality ATF plus four, not some generic ass knockoff crap. Um, I'm actually going to be replacing it with uh, Royal Purple. Uh, oh yes, and always have your uh, handy garage cat running around trying to assist you. Um, and it takes about two quarts to fill it up. Once this thing's completely done draining, I will put the plug back in. Okay. Then I will go and I will remove the fill. This one. And I will fill it up. Um, you have to do some weird finagling in here that I'm not going to show you because 
it's kind of a pain in the ass to use the camera and show you how to fill this up. But a short funnel works fine, or a short piece of hose, um, or a syringe, whatever means necessary you need. And basically fill it up until it overfills. And then you put the plug back. And that's it. Yes, it is that retardedly simple. You drain it out, you put the plug back in, and then you fill it up with two quarts of ATF plus four. I don't even know how much a dealership charges for something retarded like that. Probably like 150 bucks or some crap, okay? Because, you know, the labor and putting it on the lift and, yeah, whatever. Anyway, that's it for changing out your uh, your transfer case lube. So, I am USMC Doc 14 from jkowners.com, pirate4x4.com. Uh, if you got any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section or visit us at the forum. You guys have a good day.